How's it going, everybody? My name's Sam. Hello there, my name's Ollie. And we are comparing two of the coolest budget entry level strats that we have in the shop today. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, I like one more than the other. I'm not going to tell you which just yet, but one of them reminds me of starting out on guitar. Actually, I will tell you, it's the Square Affinity Strat. I'm not the biggest fan in the world. But then we've got these guys here, which is a new brand called Jet. Sam, what do we know about this brand called Jet? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely well, nothing. We got these guitars delivered to us by our book deliverer dude, um, Hal Leonard, and we were blown away when they told us what the price was. Uh, the Squire Strat itself. Don't tell him. Not going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him. We're going to secret keep it. We're going to keep it a secret right to the end. But yeah, I've got a massive feeling that one of them is going to kind of outshine the other. And we go crazy about Squire here. We're always talking about Squire, that contemporary Strat. That's an awesome videos. series, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. Classic vibes, dude. I don't know. Pass me the. Uh, let's, let's compare the builds. Let's have a look at the builds. Okay, cool. Silver Surfer, love it, Joe Satriani. Yeah, it's a good cover. It is a really nice, oh, sparkly, cover, um, sparkly, metallic -y kind of like car paint finish. I'm a big fan of that. Net. Looks modern. It does look modern, and it looks cool, yeah. and it's cute, right? Yeah, it looks cute. Maybe. I like it. Classic. I mean, it's grey. But... Yeah, it's kind of grey. <laughs> right, grey, grey versus pink. Name one cute grey thing other than a seal. A kitten? Nah. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Go on. So, it's like standard strat thing, really. Squire. You can tell because it's kind of lightweight. Um, I guess this is a basswood body. Feels and, like um, it. Yeah. Three single coil pickups are standard, and uh, like modern hardware. Uh, it's really just a straightforward. Let's learn how to play guitar guitar, but with a bit of a difference in the fact that it looks cool. Yeah. How about the jet? Well, I mean. <laughs> It's killer. <laughs> it's killer. Yeah. Well, right, firstly, it rocks. But here's why. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't feel like a Strat copy, right? Nope. Because they've done a couple of things differently, which is just sick. They tweezed it. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah they tweezed it. They tweaked it. They, did, whatever, did, whatever, 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 whatever they could do to it, they've done to it. They yeah. tortured the poor thing. Hell yeah. It's come out a stronger Hell yeah. guitar. Yeah. I mean, like, first <laughs> thing, which I think is just really dope. Check out the neck, man. It's roasted maple. It is roasted. They've started Mayful. It feels great. It's got like a sort of like satiny finish. It doesn't feel like cheap. I feel like some people don't like the Square Classic vibes because it's super high gloss and shiny. Would you say that Roasted Maple has become the pulled pork of the guitar world though? It's like everyone starts doing it and it's like, oh, pulled pork. That's interesting. Uh, no, I'd say it's more the Sawyer Flat White. The Sawyer Flat White? Yeah, it's the coconut milk. Um, it's got this weird little logo. If I had one criticism of this guitar, it would be the logo. I love the logo. I think Sound it looks like fancy. See, the, the, we differ on that. I, I think the logo looks really nice. It's like a, yeah. it's, it's mother of toilet seat. Yeah, um, that's but, the thing. But, but, yeah, mother of toilet seat for sure. I'd prefer it if it was just sort of like plain black lettering, just like jet, like a Lackland or something. You yeah. Know? I think that'd look more tasteful. So that's like comparing and it specs. Is growing me. Like, how do the necks feel though? That's the thing, like in comparison, because you've got a different. Glossy, satin. Sat satiny finish on the back of that one, really pronounced. This feels like naked wood. Yeah. There's very little gloss on this. Like you well, it is naked wood, I say right? not gloss, sorry, finish on the back yeah. of it. It feels like naked wood. It feels like untreated wood. Whereas that yeah. feels smooth. Yeah. Yeah. This is the more expensive version and it's actual rosewood, right? I don't know. It's actual rosewood. I don't know. This isn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Squire. That's Palferro. The, that's Palferro, yeah. which is good. Still good. I mean, yeah. But yeah. that's actual rosewood. Yeah, actual rosewood. Right. Can they. Canadian hard maple, right? Yeah. Says it's Canadian. Yeah. Right? Doesn't say anything about this being Canadian. And my drum tech tells me this is a bone nut. Bone. 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 Abba bone. Throw me a freaking bone here. Yeah. Uh, one thing which is different, um, which I know not everyone's going to love, but I really do like. This has just got two dials, man. Just volume. Oh, yeah. Tone, and then a five way pickup selector. Less to mess around with. Yeah, it's got a humbucker. Less to mess around with. But also, if you just look at the placement, it's just that little centimeter further away. I don't know if you guys get this, but yeah. I get it with Stratocasters. I was actually had it with this one earlier when I was testing it. All the time. Gets knocks. So I anchor my, my finger like. Um... Like I've got to hold on to something that we're damping. Yeah. So. And that, that always gets knocked. So the fact that that is a little bit further away, that makes a big difference. I really like that. That's really well noticed. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't notice that. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not a knockoff strat. They've taken things. No. Uh, they've done like a great <laughs> bits of wood on it and they've made improvements. They've done a great for bits a, of wood on it. For, un, for an undisclosed, for a presently undisclosed price. So, so far, we've got this wicked Canadian hard maple neck. Wicked. Which is sort of like got like flaming here. Flaming. It's 
flaming cool flame i actually prefer the maple top version cool. the maple neck version <laughs> <laughs> I love one thing that I notice, and I always talk about this, is the um, the heel on the back here. Right. So okay. the bolt-on uh, yes. heel with the spaced screws um, allows for the neck to be stronger when it's bolted in, I think, to yeah. do with the placement. And also the fact it's curved. Yeah, it's Get your hand around there. This is yeah. just like, I don't know, man. It's like a roadblock. It's like a roadblock, yeah, yeah. mate. And even, what are you even, doing? Even just like the bevel is just on the side here. That's not a standard strap thing, man. Can you no, see that? it's not. Just it's like, like, like a custom is. strap. It's like a modern strap. This, yeah, that, got, I had noticed that. Got to be dope. said, you know, they're following it faithful to the designer. I think if they start changing these, um, it's going to cost them more to do that, and they're trying to keep things yeah. as on budget as possible. I think it sounds better, dude. I think it sounds better. Well, let's put them to the test. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll just go play some jazz blues, brother. Just sounds really fat. Are you playing on the humbucker there? Uh, no, I'm not. This is just the neck pickup, dude. Jazz tone, man. Jazz tone. Just compare. Yeah, and that's like, you know, tone rolled up. So great. So this is the neck of the bridge. Mate, that's just a good tone, man. Yeah, I'm not going through. I'm not going through any like mad tube amp or anything. No, I'm going through Boss Katana, dude. Like, what's that? Two, three, nine. Just straight to the Katana. Yeah, no, he's using pedals and stuff. I am using pedals and stuff. Well, I've got a tone corset by Electro Harmonics, a noise suppressor out front, in the opposite order, <laughs> and uh, the uh, MSR reverb. That's a lovely tone. Let's swap. Quick. No, I don't want to. You got to swap. We got to compare. Swap. Them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put it in there with a beat. That's <laughs> yes. yes! Edits! Okay, yeah. It's, it's boomy, but it's not bassy. Do you know what I mean? Sure. No clarity, man. Humbucker fares really well for lead playing. Let's try that, uh, the bridge pickup. No, a uh, neck pickup, sorry. Yeah. Neck bridge, one of those. It's like bad, the rhythm playing. <laughs> Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no contest, dude. I like them both. Yeah? Yeah, I do. I like them both for different reasons. Okay, why do you like that one? I like the colour on that one. I'll give it that. The, it's more bitey, but the, no, man. The bitey colour suits my tone a little bit more, yeah. I think. Okay. Whereas with the jazz comping and stuff, I think that guitar sounds right, okay. wicked for that stuff. Here's the thing, right? Like front pickup, neck pickup. Basey, but it's not boomy. You've still got enough middle and treble. Like I just think pickups are better. Yeah. Maybe they're laid a little differently. Oh, you yeah. can see actually the poles are configured slightly differently. Yeah. 
but um, yeah, I'm, just sort of like a more vintage kind of setup, I guess. I'm big on both, but I will say that the neck and the fretboard on that one feel way more like... It's like it feels expensive, Expensive, brother. yeah. Like the, the slippiness of the rosewood on that one is lovely. Mm, mm, or whatever yeah. it is, possibly. You, you, you've got to admit that the... No, this is rosewood. That's yeah? Palferro. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Confirmed Serious. by the rep. Confirmed by the Howell Leonard dude. Yep. That's insane. It's nuts, man. Yeah, that is nuts. insane. Fair break. I, I thought that fretboard felt scratchy. Do you? I think it feels like it's a cheap guitar. Yeah. And I think you're paying a little bit more for the finish, but um, right. it's nice. It's got, it's got that jangle. If you're after that kind of scratchy. But to be fair though, you're, you're paying more for the finish. And but what's wrong with a bit of what vintage you, crusty crab? What are you paying more for on the crusty crab? You're not. You're not. You're paying you're less. Li you're literally not. You're paying less. I would less. say, you know, in the, in, when we're talking in the price margin, which we are for these, percentage-wise, what you're paying less. That's significant, dude. That is That's significant. That's really significant. Yeah. The tone, I think, yeah, between the two of them, they both got their really good strong points. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me turn mine up. <laughs> I don't know, man. Are you serious? Do you think there's... Do you think there's right, okay, here's, here's the test. Here's the test. I've got a good idea now, right? Sounds so better at guitar than me. If you play... Do you, uh, um, if, you, if you play... Jazz chords only. <laughs> Can you play a normal? Yeah. Right, play it. Play it so you can hear every note. Uh, I don't have a pick. Arpeggiate it. So that's gone slightly out of tune since you started. Right. Whereas this one. I mean. It's nearly there. It's, yeah, a little bit. I'm not sure that I tuned it up properly to begin with. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, Rookie I think I'm good enough for rock fail. and roll. <laughs> rock and roll fail. Cool. So, I mean, one thing which I do actually quite like about the Affinity Strat, on the rhythm tone, so if you just sort of bar rhythm, what I was doing for the jazz thing, so just front pickup, I really do actually quite like that the pole pieces are a little bit higher, giving a little bit more hot, or like a hot output. Mm. I find that when we're just having that sort of jam then, that um, you know, it really helps the middle and the treble cut through a bit. It's got a bit more zang. <laughs> That's not a real descriptive it word. Is, man. Zing zang. Twang. Doesn't mean anything. Zing. Mm. Onomatopoeia. JS four hundreds. Uh, they're in stock, uh, so we have them here, and they are an incredible price. And we are going to be getting different colours. There's a seafoam green one with my name on it. I can't wait for that to come in. And there's Perfect. a lobster one with my name on yeah, it. Yeah, shell pink, dude. Oh, we haven't told them how much it is. Oh, yeah, dude. So, yeah, 179 versus what, 180? Uh, that is one. I thought it was 169. No, one, 179. Yeah, one, Ah, yes, 179 with Rosebud Fingerboard and expensive features. Yeah, really expensive features. Really price, expensive yeah. features. Absolutely blown away. Completely guessed wrong on the guess price. I guess 300. Because yeah. a lot of people were guessing 400, 500 when we had no price on it. And we're telling customers, you know, so guess what it is. guessed a million. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, one guessed a million. no one guessed a million. We um, are huge fans. Huge fans of this. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all going to get one because we like them that much. We've seen them pop up in a, a couple of other players' hands, which is really cool. But so um, two on the first day. Yeah, get one before they sell out because these are going to go quick. We sold two on the first day. Yeah, damn yeah. straight. Really cool. Yeah, it's like a black. It felt like a Black Friday deal. It did feel like a Black Friday <laughs> deal, but it's not a one-off. These yeah. are going to be this price um, for the foreseeable future, and uh, we're really doubt it. I'm, I doubt it. It's probably going to go up, isn't it? Probably yeah. going to go up. Let's face it. I want to thank you guys Sorry. so much for tuning in. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you could like, share this video, whatever you want. Uh, let us know how we've done. This is our first time doing uh, two people in one video. It's been a lot of fun. It's been real. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. It's been romantic.